Uh, getting that first job is a major step for any teenager, right? Learning what it's like to earn a paycheck and have some responsibility. For teens in the care of Franklin County Children's Services, it is a vital step towards the next phase of their lives. And that's why FCCS partners with groups to help these young adults succeed. So I'm so happy to welcome back Dante Green. We also have a Lawrence Jackson and Cassandra Fletcher with us to share more today. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for welcome. having us. All right, Lawrence, let's start with you. The Workforce Development Board of Central Ohio, that is who yes. you're with. So where do you come into the mix with this program? Okay, uh, well, we are the 501c3 that oversees uh, a specific pot of funding from the Department of Labor. Okay, gotcha. And it funnels through us and we procure it out to the community and community agencies like Impact Community Action uh, bid out for those funds and then we oversee the operations of the youth services. Uh, so programmatic wise, we signed off on individual training accounts, which sends uh, youth back to school uh, for certifications or degree programs. Uh, so we make sure that all of the bells and whistles get checked um, as we procure the money out for Department of Labor. So one of the ways that you do that is with this AMP program. Yes. What does that stand for? That's the Achieve More and Prosper program. Uh, so it is the localized brand of what is a statewide initiative okay. uh, for youth and young adults. Uh, so Achieve More and Prosper uh, really identifies those 16 to 24 year olds that are just looking for that extra hug. As you okay, yeah. Uh, just a boost to get them back into work opportunities and or educational opportunities to better their outlook when it comes to those jobs. Right, we want to let them know that at 18 doesn't mean they're on their own, they're off, right? And, and kind of deal with that. Cassandra, so you work with Impact, uh, one of these supporting partners. So tell us what, what you guys do involved with this. So Impact's goal is to bridge the gap as the youth are transitioning out of care into adulthood. We do it through multiple things. They are provided comprehensive case management to address and eliminate barriers. They are provided work readiness training, teaching them the soft skills that they need so that they can be successful in the workforce. We also provide them a paid work experience so that they can gain additional skills. And we provide supportive services as they do transition if they need help with um, rent or child care or mm. uniforms, things of that nature. They're provided a AMP coach and that AMP coach literally coaches them in how to find the resources, um, how to determine what career track they want, and just how to become self-sufficient as they move on into adulthood. And that is kind of uh, the next question, I guess, is how are they matched with employment? Is that something that they determine what they're interested in at the same time somebody can kind of help them with opportunities? So it's a little bit of both. Um, they complete what we call an individual opportunity plan. And on that plan, they discuss what their career track is, or if they're not unsure, they let us know that. And they pick goals. And so with that information, we, find work sites that match the career track that they want, but we also consider location, what is close to them, and we also consider their skill set. Um, we would never put them on a job with um, the city if they're not very good with computers. We find something that they're more comfortable with so Got that they it. can build yeah. those skills. Okay, and, and you know, Dante, obviously you're, you're working hands on with these adults every day at FCCS, uh, these young adults. Mm -hmm. uh, what ages, first of all, are you guys really focused on? Well, we focus on the youth 16 to 21. So okay. we refer all our youth that can fulfill their slots, um, the 16 to 21, and um, just allow them to do what they do with the youth to get them prepared for their workforce experience. And so what are some of the skills you would say they need most? What are some of the things that you guys really kind of have to help them with as they transition out? Well, every year we hold a one week long orientation for the youth. Uh, we pr work on things such as communication skills, um, workplace etiquette, um, leadership skills, and um, punctuality and just knowing how to you know conduct yourself in the workplace at all times. Yeah some of the basics yes. that we don't always remember right that, that you need to kind of remind them and teach them some skills so mm -hmm. let's talk successes. Cassandra you, you have anything to share with us? I do and probably my favorite uh, success and while we have gotten youth off to jobs my favorite thing is those youth that transition into post-secondary. During our first year we assisted eight youth in transitioning off to various colleges. 
the second year we did five year five youth. We're preparing to get youth off to college now, mm -hmm. but that's my favorite because the whole first year that they're in college, the staff actually goes to the college wherever they're at and visits them once a month, talks with oh, them, that's see cool. how they're doing, yeah, right. um, make sure that they have what they need, whether it's the technology package or whether it is, they just need to get to the store and pick up some snacks. Um, we also use that time to teach them how to shop um, and just be supportive to them because right, you're that times, stable adult, you know, that in stable their lives. Adult. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it's cool to see because I feel like then you guys get to you know kind of visit the college campus. Yeah, what life is like back then, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, a great opportunity, of course, so you can find all the information on the website. FCCS always doing great things, obviously, and and not leaving our youth alone, which it, which is always important to note. So thank you guys for for what you do every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.